we created this create alien function, uh, which allowed us to create an alien which moves across the screen, as we saw here. Okay, and hopefully you have adjusted the start position and also the duration to make it a little bit slower and a little bit easier for the player to actually uh, manipulate. Obviously, we could have a function for the speed, which will manipulate this to make it go quicker and uh, as we choose to. Uh, so a couple of things we need to adjust. First of all is the start position. Uh, I'm going to start this at zero, and we have our movement working fine. So now I've adjusted that speed, so it's a little bit nicer in its movement. I'm going to adjust that a little bit more. Uh, let's give it an extra 50, so now it should start in a nicer spot. Okay, that's looking a lot better. Um, so one thing you'll notice is in Space Invaders game, the, the sprites don't actually move along one line. So I could create multiple um, aliens now and they could all follow each other along this pattern. But what they actually do is move as a grid across the screen. So we're gonna create a function to generate lots of rows of aliens now using this, um, this function that we created previously. So our new function is going to be called generate aliens. Okay, we don't have any parameters for this one. Uh, we're gonna have our starting position which is at the top. So I'm gonna make this, uh, let's go with 700. Okay, and then we're gonna to start to create rows. So this will be row one. We're gonna have a start position for the X, uh, which we figured out a start, good start position is 50. And we also decided the good start position was for the Y value is 500. So let's keep that the same. And then I'm going to create a list, uh, sorry, a loop, and I'm going to go crit. So then, so then I'm going to create a loop, and we're going to create five of these guys. So this will count through one, two, three, four, five before exiting the loop. We can then call our create alien function. So I copied and pasted that from my did move, which we previously put there. Um, so I need to give it a CG point. My CG point will be my start X and my start Y. And my color will be green. So then I'm going to increment the start X. So this will be the separation between each of the aliens. So each of the columns will need to increment. So we want to make sure that it's more than the width of the aliens. My width is 25. So we want to make it 50 because then it's double the, the width. That works pretty fine. Okay, and the last thing we need to do, because I cut and paste my create alien from here, I need to call my generate aliens. Now it's going to call this function, and this function calls the other function. So you can see how we've got these defined blocks here. So I'll run this code, and now I've got my bunch of aliens which are moving. Okay, and they're moving a bit more in that traditional sense. So if I wanted to add six aliens, I could increase the, the amount of times it loops around. And that would increase it. If I want to reduce the gap between, perhaps I only want to have um, 35, so it should just be 10 between each of them. Okay, so I can move them closer together. So that's how we can manipulate uh, the different rows. So we're going to create some more rows. We're going to have row two. We're going to have row three. And then we'll have row four. And of course, each time we don't need to declare start x again. We can just change that value. So we can remove that var part in front. So it only is declared once, and then it is just manipulated each time. Okay, so if I give this a run now. I then have all of my aliens sitting on top of each other. Okay, so we need to make sure that they're separated by the Y value. So in order to do, to do that, what we can do is on our Y value, we can increment. So we could put this inside another loop, but again, I'm trying to make this simple just so everyone gets a firm grasp of the code base um, and how to manipulate that. So first one's on zero, next one's 25 down. Let's make the next one 50 and then 
75 and let's get one more row and we'll make the last one 100. Oops, 100. So we'll run this code now. Okay, so we have all of them sitting in columns, so I'm not quite happy with that spacing. Let's make it 30, 60, 90, and 20. Okay, so now we have some nice neat blocks. I'm not quite happy with that start position and end position, uh, but you can play with that a little bit. Uh, remember also, we did learn about how to use the screen width. So you could calculate the screen width and then subtract 25 to get your start position and end position. That's another way that you could do it as well. Okay, so in this video, we have looked at how to generate our block of aliens so that we can start to manipulate them.